On this episode of Road Dirt, we sample the Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and we have with us the 2022 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. We've been enjoying this bike for about a month or so, courtesy of our friends at Triumph North America. And I gotta tell you, this bike is amazingly fun to ride, and its technology is seamless. It's a, it's a fantastic put-together package. And I wanna tell you a little bit about it. Um, the bike actually is part of a long line of triples that Triumph has been manufacturing. Um, Triumph is known for their Bonneville line, their legendary Bonneville line, but they're also equally respected for their triples. The Speed Triple line actually goes back to about 19, I think 1994, and it was an eight, uh, 885 cubic centimeter engine back then. It's gone through a series of iterations over the years. It was briefly a 750, uh, then a 955, I had a Sprint ST 955, love that power plant. And uh, for a number of years, I want to say since um, 2005, something like that, 2007 maybe, um, it's been a uh, 1050cc. This one is technically, it's an 1160, so it's about a mini bike short of being a true 1200, but um, puts out 177 horsepower to the rear wheel, 92 foot-pounds of peak torque, and uh, actually comes in about 22 pounds, I think 22 pounds lighter than the previous generation. Comes in at about, um, I wanna say 435 pounds. And uh, man, the technology in this, the package. I keep saying in the article, if you'll read that, that it's seamless. I mean, you talk about an, an electronics package that is outstanding. They, they built it into this and perfected it. I don't think there's a Triumph in the lineup that we've ever ridden that has got such an amazing package with it. It's got five different ride modes, rain mode, road mode, sport, and then track mode, as well as a uh, user mode, a rider mode that you can set it and customize it any way you want. Multiple ABS settings, multiple traction control settings. In each one of those ride modes, you've got uh, a different mapping and everything. And uh, I've been rate mainly riding it in uh, road mode and a bit in sport. And um, man, it's just, I thought I would be intimidated by the sheer power of something like this, but um, it's very user friendly. I think um, the braking on it, it's got an Olin's uh, suspension system, Brembo brakes, they're all worked together just perfectly. And um, on Metzler tires, the Racetech RR series, this is one heck of a package that they put together and hysterically fun to ride. I mean, I tell you what, I've, I never thought I would enjoy it as much as I have, but uh, any chance we get some beautiful sunshine, I've got to get out on this bike. So let's go for a ride. Out riding it, I got to admit, I love the brakes, I love the suspension on it, Brembo. You can't beat them. Only fantastic suspension. But I tell you, what knocks me out is this quick shifter with the slip assist clutch. Oh man, this thing is unbelievable. I mean, the only time I ever pull in the clutch is when I'm starting the bike up, getting it in first gear, and then at a stop sign or a stoplight, coming to a stop. The rest of the time, just on the gas just clicking up through the gears and then rolling off the gas and clicking down to it with no clutch lever whatsoever. Uh, and it actually works better that way. I mean, um, you have to, to, if you try to clutch each gear with the lever, it, it almost feels kind of clunky. It, it's tuned and timed to be clutchless. It's almost like a, 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 a paddle shifter for your toe. 
I'm really, really liking this, man. Staying on the gas and just clicking up through it. I've, I've ridden um, other, you know, uh, quick shifters, but this one is super smooth up through the gears and then back down. It's outstanding. That's got to be my favorite part of the bike. It's also super comfortable to ride. It's a nice rider triangle. I don't feel like I'm pulled too far over. I don't feel like my legs are all squished up underneath me like a sport bike or something. It's a really nice rider triangle for me. I'm like 5'8", so um, fits me really, really well. Man, it's like they built this bike for guys, my, guys and gals my size. I love it. So there you have it, the 2022 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. We've had it for about a month and it is a phenomenal motorcycle. We thoroughly enjoyed this thing. I want to thank our friends at Triumph Americas for the loaner for this past month, putting that trust in us. And um, I tell you, with this bike, it's like everything you could use and everything you could need in a, in a fantastic super naked or hyper naked, however they call these larger ones, uh, motorcycle category, the street fighter categories here. It's um, between the Olin suspension front and rear, the Brembo brakes, which are linked in road mode, as well as maybe some other ones, um, the electronics package you get, and um, my favorite, the quick shifter and slip assist clutch. Um, just a phenomenal all-day rider motorcycle. Because of the fact that, the up, that you've got more upright handlebars instead of low clip-ons, you can thrash this thing out on country roads and up in the mountains, canyon carving all day and not need a chiropractic adjustment the next day. Something to be said for that the older we get. And, uh, and even around town, I, I mentioned in, in the video and in the article that it really operates best without using the clutch lever. But if you want to rein the ponies in a little bit around town, so to speak, the, cl the clutch lever is just super seamless and smooth if you're having to slow it down and take it easy on rolling on and things like that um, up and down through the gears in, around town, uh, it, it's, it's, it's a fantastic tuned clutch for that. And then when you want to air the baby out on the open road and you don't want to use the clutch, just clicking up and down through the gears, this thing absolutely rocks, man. It was so much fun to ride, absolutely. And um, if you want to find out more, check out our article on it. We get into even more detail there at roaddirt.tv. Look up the article Riding on the Wild Side about the Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. Uh, also check out um, Triumph's website themselves, triumphmotorcycles.com. They've got more specs and details on this particular bike that you can find there if you really want to get into the, into the weeds with details about the motorcycle and its, and its specifications. I hope you'll also, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it uh, a subscribe that you'll ring that bell so you get notifications on future videos we'll put out. Uh, like this video, um, share it, recommend it to your friends, and um, we appreciate that very much. We appreciate the support. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, RoadDirt.TV. Um, it's actually our website. Our media are Road Dirt TV, our three social media sites. We've also got um, a, uh, a Spotify music channel called Road Dirt Classics, about 25 hours worth of, of music for out on the open road. Got a weekly podcast also, hosted by Anchor, but it's on Apple, Spotify, and all the other large platforms called Road Dirt. So go check us out on all of those opportunities right there. Just join the Road Dirt crew, join the community. And until next time, this is Rob with Road Dirt, Ride Life.